Hello everyone, welcome back to our second episode of No Man's Sky. Well, second episode in this particular playthrough at any rate. <laughs> I'm not even sure how to number these things at this point. Um, so, actually I just looked in our inventory and it seems it didn't disassemble the portable refinery. It's sitting in our inventory, which is a little odd, but there you go, we've got it. So they want us to get in our ship and I guess take off. Yes. This is more like it. None of that swimming around underwater. Oh, come on, Lance. You like the swimming around. Uh, seek answers among the stars. Okay. Well, I had some strange sounds. Okay. Lucid Galaxy. You discovered this. Okay. Orbital flight achieved. Chess starship systems one, uh, 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 zero of three. So press W. We've done that. Test flight systems. Hold W. Okay. Yeah, I've I've tested flight systems and hold held W. Press zoom with uh, or boost with space. Okay, well, ooh, this is interesting. Okay, let's let's mine some of these, see what we get out of them. What are we getting? Silver, okay. Ooh, there's a planet. Ooh, over here. Ooh, we got a tritium hypercluster. I think we can use that to recharge our pulse drive. So that's a good thing. We get another one. Okay, let's move forward here. Okay. I did just test and hold the pulse engine. Why are you... Okay, there we go. Now what are we supposed to do? Answer the incoming communication by pressing X. Uh, incoming transmission. Can we come to a halt here? Please identify yourself. I'm from Black. You are not Black, whatever. Krzyk. Alone. Follow the Krzyk. Broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. All right, well, cool. So we have a place to go, and... Okay, so we have coordinates now. On the planet dead ahead. Okay, well, let's get out of these rocks, first off. Oh, we get a gold nugget. Sweet. Okay. Arrive in one hour. Well, I don't think that's going to do. <laughs> Arrive in 50 seconds. That's a little bit more like it. So, this is sort of cool the way they do this. I don't remember how the interplanetary travel works. It's been too long since I did much in this game. I think I played for a very short time in our abortive attempt at doing a series last year. Um, and, you know, when the game first came out, I played a little bit of it. I probably got quite a few hours in the, when it first came out and just decided it was too grindy for me. But then at that time, I was also doing ARC and all sorts of stuff like that. So, you know, I just didn't have any time for another grindy game. All right. Let's level out here. Ooh, this planet looks nice. I like it. Lance, you're coming in a little hot and steep, don't you think? That's better. Uh, these oceans or valleys? I think they're valleys, but that could be water. Red water? Pink water? No, that can't happen if it's discolored by stuff. 
signal source. We're getting real close to it. Slow down, Lance. Yeah, I think this is water. It's just red water. So we're going to want to land on this very narrow shore. There we go. Boy, that's a... Uh, ow. That's a heck of a landing there, Lance. <laughs> Wow, uh, nose of the ship is actually in the rock. Okay, so we found the we found the message. This is an interesting place. This does not look like anything I've seen so far in this playthrough, anyways. Uh, tapping tapping out a signal into the void. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. No fuel in. Fail to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to Kurzik underground. Deployed base computer. The signal uh, contains plans for a base computer and a, a terrain manipulator. Great, we needed the terrain manipulator. Let's extract the plans. Okay, we need chromatic metal for that. Terrain manipulator, uh, two nano two thermal protection this time. Uh, nano two nano tubes and one jelly. Okay, I think we can do this. Do we have any jelly right now? I don't think we do. Uh, ooh, are we gonna need? No, we can make the jelly. Can we make the nanotubes? I love this. If you mouse over this, they added... You could hit E to destruct another one. Okay, so let's go to our multi-tool. And now, we can install this. We'll put that in there. Put that in there. And now, we have a terrain manipulator. It's excellent. Locate the gold nugget in my inventory. Okay, let's do that. Gold nugget, I think that's in the ship's inventory, actually. Yeah. Analyze it, and we get useful gold out of it. So I think the thing with the tritium cluster, if we analyze it, we get tritium. Which I think we can then use, yeah, to recharge our false engine. Excellent. So what do we need for this? We're going to need starship fuel or uranium. Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. And, let's see, starship fuel. To make starship fuel, we need... Uh, metal plating and dihydrogen. I think we can do that. Uh, no, we need to, we used up all our ferrite dust. Okay, so let's, let's just have a quick look here. Phosphorus, so that's interesting. Uh, probably help a lot if we switched into the correct mode. I, I'm just all for having our ship recharged before we, you know, go very far. Okay, so the same thing. Oh, aren't you guys sort of cute? With your little light thingies on your shoulders. I'm interested to see what we're going to be able to do with the animals. plate and then starship launch fuel uh, transfer to other inventories can I there we go launch fuel net okay super so our ship is recharged so that's excellent. Okay, gather copper. Um, I think what we need to do for that is this. I remember right from playing the other day. What I had to do was get underground. That was interesting. And then once underground, I could look... 
Blackberry Technology Module. Cobalt Deposit. <laughs> we needed that in... What's the... Wait, are we... Yeah, we're hot. Is this not protecting it? Copper Deposit, that way. 400, 300 and something you that direction. Okay. Boy, getting underground did not seem to protect us from something. From that. So what do we need to recharge thermal protection? More sodium. Okay, well that's fine. So it's still sodium, even though, and there's a ton of it right here. It's still sodium, even though it's a different hazard. That's good. I like simple. Simple makes it easier for me to stay alive. Come on. Give me give me your sodium. Give me your sodium. I know I'm not really cutting away on this stuff right now, but I probably should, but it all seems so close. It just doesn't seem like much point in doing it. I'll scan this guy, because this looks interesting. No just sight. And switch Mo's again. All right. So the copper was this way. Are those guys hostile? I'm getting a little red dots on them. The copper was only 300 and some odd U's away, so not very far. I'm thinking I hate how stuff reses in just as you're walking on top of it. Uh, especially when they're hostile plants. Let's... Oh, is this it? No, this is silica powder we're getting here. Let's do this again. Temperature. What did that say? Temperature levels rising? What's that? That's a phosphorus deposit. Cobalt. Cobalt. Copper. 181 AU that direction. I don't understand why we can't see that when we're on the surface, though. Or can we? Right there. Okay, yeah, we can see it when we're on the surface. I don't know what that sound was, but I didn't like it very much. These are some interesting plants. What the heck? Interesting. Oh, what's this? A box. There's three of them here. Two good ones and one damaged one. Just have to take the rusted metal out. Okay, where is our copper? Uh, I know we were looking at it not that long ago. Why have we lost track of it all of a sudden? Tell me it's not underwater. Oh, hello, guys. They don't seem too terribly dangerous. Supposedly it's a red paw print that you'll see over them if they're dangerous. I know we saw the copper in this direction. What's that thing? Hazardous floor. Okay, we'll leave it alone. Oh, here we go. Damaged machinery. Cobalt. Cobalt. 
Are we standing on the copper or something? Because the copper seems to have disappeared. Cobalt. Damaged machinery we just found. Copper. It's up there. We passed it. Boy, this is seriously a volcanic planet here. Here it is. Here's the copper. We found it. Okay. So let's get in the right mode. And let's start mining some copper here. So the copper, I think, lets us make the chromantic metal or whatever. Which is a very useful metal, at least starting off here. For everything I've seen so far. Is that all of it? Is there anything left? Getting a little bit still, but mainly just getting silicate powder. Okay, I think that's the best we're gonna get. Okay, let's recharge our thermal protection again and head back to the ship. Ow. All right, so process copper to create a romantic metal. <laughs> you know, it's really romantic metal, you know, a lot of hugs and kisses, all that sort of good stuff. And I'm sorry, I've not been I've not been cutting stuff out on this video, but it just does seem like there hasn't been a lot of reason to. There's been a lot there's been a lot going on the whole time. We haven't had to traverse great distances or anything. What is this stuff? Well, just silicate powder is all we're getting from it. Okay, well, hello, glowy guys. Life support systems at 50%. Okay, so let's take and put our little refinery right here. Uh, fuel supply, we'll fuel it up with some carbon, and we will put uh, where's our copper? There it is. Put our copper in there, and we'll start it up. And that's not going to take very long either. <coughs> I don't remember what we're getting. Oh, this is for the base computer. So I think this is going to allow us to start building a base. I'm not sure I want to build a base here. Is there a better planet around here we could build a base on? <laughs> okay. Into our personal inventory. Okay. The base uh, computer claims the site for construction. Find a suitable area and deploy the base computer. Access the building men menu with a Z. Uh, I don't think this is a suitable area. I, I may have to look for one before our next episode. Uh, let's pick up our refinery. And uh, get into the ship. And this is going to be interesting, taking off directly into the rock here. Okay, pulse engine unavailable. I'm not in the least bit surprised. All right, but we've got all the stuff we need. I can't even tell which direction is up on this crazy planet. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Um, we've, we've too high to initiate landing. I wasn't trying to initiate landing. I'm just confused by the stuff. 
All right, so we're back in space now. So yeah, I'm gonna look for a better landing site. I don't like I don't like that planet very much. Um, so we will do that, and then next episode, hopefully we can start building our base. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.